Assalamu alaikum. We have a question. If 50 grams of sweets cost $2.10, find the cost of 380 grams of sweets, giving your answer correct to the nearest 5 cents. So we will do this same questions by two methods and the first one will be unitary method. So the first method, unitary method, I have made an introductory video on this unitary method that what is and how it is performed. So you will find its link in the description. As this video is actually not for fun but for educational purpose. So we will have approach for students who are learning. Okay. So we have to gather or we have to establish the relationship between two quantities which is the actually the basic or fundamental point in this unitary method. We have the information F50 grams of sweets cost $2.10 find the cost. So this is the information we have to use. S50 grams of sweets cost $2.10 that is 2.10 first we figure out how much each gram of sweets cost to do this we divide the total cost this one by the total weight that is 50 grams so we will get cost per one gram let me do this that again 50 grams of sweets same as above cost i have to divide 50 here and 50 here and for this i will get one as this 50 gonna cancel with each other so i will get one gram of sweets cost when this is divided by 2.10 divided by t will get us 0.042 dollar okay next we multiply the cost per gram that is this one this by the desired weight of sweets that is 380 grams so here i will multiply this number to this so this gives us the total cost of 380 grams which will be 380 grams of sweets cost and as i have multiplied this 380 with one i will multiply the same number with this number as well 0 0.042 multiply by 380 so when one is multiplied with 380 so i will get 380 grams of sweets cost when this is multiply i will get 15.96 dollar okay so this is the first part now they say us that giving your answer correct to the nearest five cents in the given context when rounding to the nearest five cent we look at the hundredth place of the number here fifteen dollar and ninety six cents is the total cost calculated the hundredth place in fifteen point nine six dollar is this six cents to round to nearest five cents we consider whether the next highest five cents increment is closer to five cents or to ten like if this is six what that we have to know whether it is close to five or ten so here the difference is one and here the difference is four so it is more close to this five since this this i can write this, this hundredth place like 0 0.06 is closer to five then it is to ten we round the total cost up to 15.95 dollars this ensure that we are rounding to nearest five cents while still maintaining accuracy in our calculation. This is the answer. This unitary method can also be done in some short form like uh, 50 grams of sweets cost $2.10. Dividing this by 50 to get one on this side. So I will get one gram. And here I will get, as I told you earlier, it will get me 0 0.042. Now, as we have to find cost for 380 grams, so 380 will multiply here and here as well. So, 1 and 2, 380, we have to find its price. Okay? So gram in 0 0.042 and 2, 380 grams. Sorry, not 380. So, it will get us 15.9 
six. Well, we have to around the root nearest five cent. We know that in this scenario, when we around to nearest five cents, we focus on the hundredth place of the number. Here we have a total cost of fifteen dollars and ninety six cents. Looking at the hundredth place which is 6 cents. We need to decide whether to round up or down to the nearest 5 cents. To do this we examine the next highest 5 cents increment which is 0 0.06. Since 0 0.06 is closer to 5 cents. Okay. So if you consider this one as 6. So it is more close to 5 than it is to 10. Here the difference is 4. Here the difference is 1. We round the total cost of two fifteen dollars and ninety five cents R sign for approximately fifteen dollars and ninety six cents or fifteen point nine six dollars. This approach ensures that our rounding is accurate, bringing the total cost to the closest five cents increment. Okay, now same question but with different method that is method number two with named up proportion method. Same as an unitary method. First, understand the relationship between the quantities involved. In this case, it is the relationship between the weight of the sweets and cost of the sweets. Okay, which is mass of sweets and let it name X sub 1. And here it is 50 grams. Then with same cost of sweets, Let it name y sub 1 and it is two dollars and ten cents 2.10 cents again mass up sweeps let it be x sub 2 that is 380 grams cost of sweeps let it be y sub 2 is equal to capital x or which is unknown as we have wrote a proportions to represent this relationship in our questions we have 50 grams of sweets for two dollars and ten cents we want to find out what will be the cost of 380 grams of sweets so we want to set up a proportions and recalling a statement which i have proved in my first lecture of this series okay so let me recall that statement do uh, the origin baba x sub 1 divided by y sub 1 is equal to x sub 2 divided by y sub 2. Let's plug in the value in this statement. And x sub 1 is equal to 50 grams divided by y sub 1 is $2.10 or $2.10. And x sub 2 is equal to 380 grams and y sub 2 is actually x. Now we have to solve for this unknown that is x in the proportion. So one quantity is unknown. We know that which is the cost of this 380 grams. So uh, let's solve this uh, mathematically. So let's cancel this units. This will be gone and now taking reciprocal of these two. So I uh, reciprocal means that denominator will be converted into no mediator and no mediator will come into denominator so it will be 50 is equal to same this x and 380 now multiplying this 380 on both sides of this equality x will be isolated so x is equal to 380 into 2.1050 and don't forget the sign of a dollar so this zero will cancel with this one. I am using calculator and I will get this sign of dollar in 15.96. So the answer is that simple. Now after finding out this answer, they say that giving you an answer correct to the nearest 5 cents. So in this scenario, we are rounding to the nearest 5 cents. We are examining the 100th place of the total cost, which is fifteen dollars and ninety six cents. So the hundredth place represents six cents.
and we need to determine whether to roll this up or down to the nearest 5 cents. To make these decisions, we compare the next highest 5 cents increment, which is 0 0.06. Since 0 0.06, this is closer to 5 cents. If you do remember earlier, I told you that this 6 is actually more closer to 5 than it is to 10, as 10 is also uh, the multiple of this 5. Okay? So the difference here is 1 and here it is 4. So it is more close to 5. So we opt to round the total cost up to, this is a sign for approximately 15.95. This ensures that our rounding is accurate and brings the total cost to the nearest 5 cents increment, maintaining precision in our calculations. So if you really like this video, do subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues and i repeat that this is actually for uh, students who are learning okay so I'll see you in next uh, lecture i just want to mention something important that as i have told you that this is the proportional statement x sub 1 divided by y sub 1 is equal to x sub 2 divided by y sub 2 this is what we call rate this is the rate r a t e but you can also write this one as uh, this is the bonus you can write it as x sub 1 divided by x sub 2 is equal to y sub 1 divided by y sub 2 you can also use this one as well and you will see that after calculation your answer will be same and this is what we call ratio okay it's of same types this is what we call mass divided by mass and cost divided by cost and this is rate this is mass divided by cost so the two different quantities when they are dividing it's what we call rate and this is same kind of quantities dividing by each other so that is what we call ratio okay so instead of this one you have the freedom to use this one or this one it's up to you but you should use this one and homework and mention its answer in the comment sections. Thank you.